Hi, I'm Jim. I'm Rinda. We're Hardiness Approach. And we're back. Oh. We haven't really back? been gone from ourselves. We, we haven't been back. How can we be back? <laughs> we weren't gone. We, we were not gone for at least two weeks. We've been out of touch. <laughs> That's for sure. With, with YouTube. With YouTube. I had a touch with some other important we've been, things. We've been gone for four weeks from Nevada, from our garden, and oh. we've showing you some pictures of all of our garden. It grows. There's a there's a picture that we have in um, Oregon, and I think it's called our neglected days garden, and it grew so amazing while we were gone. Sometimes neglect is good. <laughs> Here's some free advice, okay? Don't leave your garden unattended for four weeks during the height of the summer. Well, the only problem we've had really is the tomatoes because we had done such careful pruning with all the little suckers and pulling them up and he's having to be brutal right now. <laughs> well, you know, it, it's a tough call for those of you who prune tomatoes. You understand what I'm saying. If you let them go, do you take, do you go ahead and prune? There's always the worry that you're going to stress the plant you're getting rid of what looks like really valuable parts is is it worth it and on some of these I, i'm leaving them others it's I'm, kind of the way god does with our lives yeah. <laughs> get rid of this add this do that <laughs> on some of them i'm being very judicious i'm carefully making choices and <sighs> but we'll see how it goes lots of tomatoes showing up we on the main part of the garden nothing yet Right, but they're getting there. There's some great looking ones. I want to show them something. These are not zucchinis that have gone bad and fat. These are called griller zucchinis. And so today we're having a barbecue. And, and this is the subject. <laughs> and so we slice them and season them and grill them to go on our burgers. That will be amazing. <laughs> so we're excited. But when, we, we have lots of beets and lots of stuff. When we first got home, without camera in hand, we took off into the garden and picked things, were amazed by what was there and how much it had grown. It was, it was amazing. And we're going to show you some of that footage while we do some of this talking. You'll see some glimpses of it. Yeah. We are now going to eat the amazing food from our garden. So I just want to say that the neat, neat thing about this is that we didn't get to stop and buy any fresh vegetables and we walked in the door. We talked about doing it. All those seeds and those little plants, they grew while we were gone and you got to see this plate. Does that, I mean, Okay, so here is Swiss chard, broccoli, beets. This is zucchini with fresh onions and peppers. And then this is sauteed um, chicken breast. Oh, no, I think it's turkey breast from our turkeys. That, that did come out of the garden, but it did come from our birds. It did. So we're eating real food, all of our own food. Organic, I might add. Yes. And guess what? There's no bugs. There were one or two here and there. It was hardly any. Not no, like it's not a problem. So they, they haven't discovered. It's cool. They haven't discovered that we really have a garden. They haven't there found yet. that we're. Yesterday we arrived home after almost four weeks being gone, and we came back in the middle, kind of to take care of a couple of chores that needed taken care of for us. We were amazed at what we saw. We were kind of overwhelmed and tired, so we really didn't do a lot of filming of what we had. Uh, we didn't have our camera ready and so forth, but we want to show you what the garden has done. That's the high-level overview. I'm going to get in and 
make some improvements to what's here. Some pruning needs to go on. I'm going to lift up the the white covers that are on these two rows. They're not needed anymore. In fact, the potatoes have pushed them out of the ground, uh, just raised them up. So they, they need lifted up. We harvested it a little bit last night, ate it last night. It was so awesome. It was really great to be able to do that. And now we have more yet to be harvested and uh, tomatoes are starting to come in a little bit. Um, we'll see if the season lets them make it. going to see on this video is pictures of the babies. Um, they're not our babies and they're not going to be on YouTube. But if you haven't seen a picture of them on our Facebook, my Facebook, there is a picture there of which we had permission to do. So they're gorgeous. They're wonderful. They had their one week birthday yesterday. And we can say without bias <laughs> that they are the most beautiful little girls in the whole world. <laughs> <laughs> now we have a 20 year old and a 19 year old and a 17 year old and a 14 year old and a 12 year old and a 10 year old and, and granddaughter for those of also. You who, oh and a seven? Zoe. Yeah Zoe is seven. Yep. So for those of you who do watch this you're the most beautiful granddaughters in the world too. <laughs> we have all the most beautiful granddaughters in the world. They're the most beautiful twin granddaughters we've ever well, that's, had. That's true. <laughs> that, that we can say without a doubt. So we um, are loving it here. It's already going to 50 at night. Um, it's been, we've had good rains, which has been amazing. Pretty, since we've been home every day, it's rained a little yeah. bit in the afternoon. Which is not something we're used to. And this time of year, for great. sure. Yeah. So we have lots and lots and lots of weeds in the gar yard and everything, but Anyhow, enough about the garden and and more about us. We are um, contemplating life a lot and we're finding peace in our life and we're enjoying being able to be home. Um, we'll share some of our goals with you a little bit later. We have these wonderful friends and Tim and Connie that it a, brings a balance into our life. and. Um, we're being able to help the mamas, the new mama and daddy, and life is good. You're going to talk about your hand? My hand. Well, it's a little bit swollen right now. This is my hand. It's doing really well. Show your fist. In just a sec, I have to show this, that I could do that. And my fist is here. This has to... What, what, what we found is that the scar tissue here we really have to work on because it will yank that back up. So show, show how you can pick up your finger. Oh, okay. Can you do it today? Ta-da! No, keep this part down. Okay. <laughs> there. There, some movement. Yeah. Very good. And actually we were supposed to hold it down as you do it. Yeah. Um, yeah. So it's a process. I'm still in physical therapy. We go back actually on Sunday night for Monday mornings and then it'll be two weeks later and then another two weeks and then we'll see. But it'll be a constant. I still wear a brace at night. I still am in traction twice a day. Um, we still get good comments. I had a pharmacist just this week who just thought it was the most awesome thing that I had done a cartwheel. Because he was near my age, he goes, ah. Go down swinging, man. <laughs> Do I have regrets? Yeah, I wish I hadn't broke it. <laughs> it certainly opened some doors to us. It's probably closed other doors to us, but life is what it is, so there you go. <laughs> and um, anything else of great value to say to these people that we love? We're sorry we've been gone, but we didn't even have any guilt because we were so busy with our life. We've watched several of your videos still, and we love you all very much. Bye.